So why this type of case done here and why it's not happens everywhere, including some of the major institutions. And uh, in fact, this is the first case which has happened here in Apollo Proton Chennai. Uh, traditionally, when this type of cases comes to an orthopedic surgeon, his mind works only to the where the pathological fractures, you know, he want to make it better. He want to eradicate the complete local uh, cancer and reconstruct, rehab faster and make patient mobilize. That, that will be his complete motive. But uh, having said that, in biopsy, we come to know that the primary lesion is sitting in the kidney and throwing this cancer everywhere in the body. So when it came to us, because of the multimodal approach, a very, very high-end institution in terms of cancer, when we sat together, in fact, Vishnu is the key. He was pushing, you know, we need to do in a single stage. The other aspect in our mind is RCC is, uh, it bleeds like anything because it uh, takes about three to four hours the mega prosthesis. We thought initially, if at all, it is going to be like, you know, more, she's going to be unstable post mega prosthesis. We need to stop at the stage to not to think the second stage. But having said that, because of the group of people, the roadmap, what we have done for this particular case, each and everything, the tumor board, so these things made, uh, you know, the very aggressive way of thinking of having the same single stage nephrectomy too. So we could able to finish uh, safely in a good time with only 300 ml blood loss for distal femur. That made us to go ahead with the lap nef. So I think uh, he has done a fantastic job by remo removing the kidney, you know, through laparoscopic. So, and also the blood loss is only 200 ml. So six hours, less than six hours surgery, 500 ml blood loss. I think that is the advantage what we had in a multimodal approach. And uh, believe me sir, this won't happen in a regular centers. And one man thinking will change the outcome. If it comes to only orthopedic surgeon, he'll think of only changing the distal femur, traditionally. So, but that's great. I mean, that is the philosophy of this yes. center. Anyway. Yes, sir. Dr. Vishnu, if I may ask you, you have worked in very fine centers, including Tata Memorial, where there is a challenge for the sake of the patient. Sir, uh, multimodal management has got many advantages. And one distinct advantage is that helps in reducing costs. So the fact that we were able to do both the surgeries for this patient in a single sitting, in a single anesthesia, she was discharged in four to five days, which wouldn't have been possible if she had undergone stage procedures. So if was in a stage procedure, she would have probably required more admission time, more duration gap between that. So it helps in significantly cutting costs, which is very important in this in this day and age to give effective treatment at an appropriate cost. Srivatsan, you had some difficulty because the team was working there. You were doing simultaneously or after that? Uh, we did it uh, sequentially, sir. Because of the positioning of the patient required, so after they completed and they had finished in just one and a half hours, so we repositioned and they completed our part of it afterwards. Anand, your work in pain management is extremely well known. How difficult or easy was her for from anesthesia point of view or from pain point of view? It was really a big challenge on this particular patient because uh, two major surgeries on one patient and uh, expected blood loss was uh, close to three to four liters. So we have a wonderful blood bank here. So though we have got that tremendous uh, support from the blood bank, but still we have a problem with massive blood transfusion also. So there are some challenges from anesthesia side. Uh, we need to know how to conserve the blood loss during the surgery. I think that credit I should really give it to the surgeons like because of their surgical skill, the plane, what they took during the surgery that has cut down the blood loss drastically. It was expected three to four liters of blood loss. But finally, they ended up with only 500 ml of blood loss. That is one. Second challenge what I faced is was the incident of pulmonary embolism. Uh, as such, with only the renal cell carcinoma with nephrectomy, the incident of uh, pulmonary embolism is 5 to 10 percent. Clubbing with the mega prosthesis on the same sitting, it's close to 30 percent. That is probably one of the reason uh, other centers are little hesitant to do both the surgeries at one go, because one in three can go uh, uh, have through a severe pulmonary embolism that can endanger the patient's life. So with the meticulous surgical work, with the meticulous intraoperative monitoring and a blood conservation strategy and intraop and immediate postoperative pain management, 
we could avoided that uh, we avoided that pulmonary embolism incident drastically and that made the patient also uh, walk very next day as we all know the incident of pulmonary embolism can be reduced if you can mobilize the patient as quick as possible because of the uh, interventional pain management we adopted well, like a uh, walking epidural we gave on this patient we made her walk very next day so that drastically reduced the incident of pulmonary embolism so these are all the challenges and uh, we successfully overcome the challenges with uh, the armamentorium and the, with the facility the blood bank the staff so we could get away with the challenges uh, in a nice way Further, any further line of treatment for this particular patient and what, also what's the prognosis of this particular patient? Uh, Ma'am, this being uh, oligometastatic uh, kidney cancer, this patient has got a significantly better prognosis than patient with uh, multiple site metastasis. Because it's a single site metastasis, we can still offer, technically we can offer curative intent treatment for this patient. So she will subsequently get uh, adjuvant uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors because she is metastatic disease. But uh, the chances of having complete cure with good 5 year survival is very good for this patient actually. Just to visit the so, what, what is, see, whenever you put an implant into the patient's body, we always worry about the infection. So, what's the chance of infection in this patient and how long we should worry about the infection? Uh, ma'am, uh, the, um, the infection is the very big challenge in this particular case, ma'am, because um, uh, though we regular total knee replacements, we stopped using drain. Uh, since more than 10 years, we don't use drains at all. But being a mega processes, we have excised more than you know, because the primary, they have done a biopsy, we need to cut off everything. We have almost took the vastus lateralis and uh, we kept the drain. And uh, we were seeing uh, very, very uh, carefully the drain, you know. Usually, we take it off in two days. We made sure the drain is less than 50 ml. And that is definitely, the, you know, one of the key to, you know, to not to have infection post-operatively. Uh, yeah, um, uh, once the drain is less than 50 ml, we took out the uh, thing and she's doing well. Now, Now, 13th post-op day, the sutures looks very nice, ma'am. We are not much worried and not, uh, you know, towards to the infection for this particular case. Dr. Ramesh, you would like to add something? As we have already discussed, a multimodal approach like this, I play the role like in there is a crisis or there are surprises in uh, excising the tumor. There is always, uh, I am available for a complete reconstruction. Finally, end of the day, clearing the tumor and making the limb functional is the plan of the surgery, where I come in. And all of us under the same roof, in the same room, when we do it, the outcomes are better. As you saw, the patient started walking around. Thank you very much. Any Thank other you. questions? Uh, patient one uh, or left sided uh, kidney cancer irukra uh, patient avangalukku vandu kidney la endu irundha anda putru noy vandu kaal la irukra elumbukku vandu spread a irukku paravi irukku so inda elumbu paravunadala ungalku anga fracture a irundhuchu femur nu solluvom that is the thigh bone adhaadu todai elumbu and the elumbu vandu fracture a irukku so idunala avanga 3 maasama she was uh, uh, and the patient vandu nadaka mudiyama bed liye irundanga inga vandadhukku apparam naanga vandu complete a ellarum seendu kalandhaalu sittu enna surgery pandrathu appdi solittu decide pannom naanga oru mudivu eduthathu vandu inda fracture site vandu uh, fix pannano that was and the fracture irukra and the cancer site fulla edukano plus and the kidney la irukra cancer yum we have namba edukano nu solli mudivu panni ore sitting la adhaadu adhe ore nerathla rendu surgery yum continuous or sequential ah panni irukom first vande and the thoda elumbu la irukra and the kattiya eduthittu adha adukku badhila mega processes solla koodiya and the maatru karuviya poruthi irukanga orthopedic doctors that elumbu doctors ennudaiya side la rendu left kidney adhaadu கிட்னியில் இருக்கிற அந்த கேன்சர் என்டையர் இதை வந்து லேப்ரோஸ்கோபி மூலமாக அதாவது கீஹோல் சர்ஜரின்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய சர்ஜரி மூலமாக நாங்கள் வந்து ரிமூவ் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் அது